Okay, so onto the um, concrete method for subtraction. Uh, we've chosen quite a complicated example here. Uh, you'll notice that um, we've laid out the calculation 304 take away 176. 167. For the calculation 304 take away 167, um, we've laid out the larger number at the top, 300s, no 10s, 4 1s, uh, but then a, a noticeable difference with this method is that we write the digit that we're going to subtract from each column underneath, and that's a common error that the children might make, is actually trying to make that with Dean's, rather than just writing out how many you're going to try and subtract. The reason for this is that because we're removing Dean's from each column, rather than adding, if you put lay the Dean's out underneath, it will encourage children to combine and end up actually adding. So it is something worth being aware of. Okay, really important obviously to remind the children to start in the ones column. We're going to try and take seven ones away, which we can't do. There's not enough to take them away. So we need to um, regroup from the tens column. Oh dear, nothing in there either. So we need to regroup from the hundreds column. We take 100 and regroup it into 10 tens. Um, which is great for the tens column, but it doesn't help us with the ones. We still need to regroup 110 into 10 ones. Okay, so now we have um, 14 ones in the ones column. We need to subtract the seven, okay, which leaves us with seven. Okay, so now onto the tens column. We need to subtract six tens from the tens column. And you can see that that's three. And finally, onto the hundreds column, um, we need to subtract 100 leaves us with 100, so the answer is 137. Okay, so on to the pictorial and abstract method for subtraction. 304 take away 167. <clears throat> Starting in the ones column, we want to take away seven ones, but there's only four ones there. So we need to go across to the tens column. Nothing in there either. So we need to go to the hundreds column and regroup a hundred into ten tens. And um, now we need to group, regroup one of those tens into ten ones. Okay. Now subtracting seven ones. So now we show on the abstract method, regroup 100 into 10 tens. Regroup one of those tens, which will leave us with nine tens in the tens column, into 10 ones, which means there's now 14 ones in the ones column. We need to subtract seven of those. 14 take away 7 is 7. Those children that are confident with their number of facts will see that. Uh, or they can cross out 7 ones and see that there's 7 remaining in the ones column on the pictorial method. Does that make sense? It does, but if they're doing that, they should still be on the concrete. Okay. Um, I think. <clears throat> Don't you? Yeah. You want me to cross them out? Shall I, shall I just say that I don't that know. Then? What do you think? That's how we've been doing it in year three. So they cross them out? They cross them out, yeah. Uh... Okay, why don't you just leave it as, or they could cross them out. I don't think I need to cross it out on here. Yeah, fine. Because it will mess up my sheet, because I'm going to save these for the insert day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now looking at the tens column. Um, nine, subtract six makes three. Again, less confident learners might want to cross out six tens uh, at the top. 
And in the hundreds column, we've got two hundreds less one makes one. So the answer is 137.